hello good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding a point that you have to take care while adding a new field to account move line model so in one of our previous video we have discussed about how to inherit and add a field to one to many line and as an example we have opted account move line model so if i go to the invoicing then to customers then to invoices and if i try to create a new invoice here you can see we have added a new field called line number inside the invoice line so if i select a customer or who meets and if i add a line into the invoice line you can see we have added product its related entries and i'll set the line number as one manually by typing from the keyboard so here i have set the line number as one and if we click on save the value will be getting disappeared so currently we have the value as one and if you click on save the value is reset back to zero so you might think why it is happening and what's wrong so we have seen many people is facing this issue so we thought of making a video on the same so actually this problem arises because here we have got two one to many fields which refer into same model so if you check the journal items tab so here it is invoice lines we have got journal items tab also where also we have got a one to many field called line ids with a relation account move line so in order to solve this problem of value getting disappeared we have to add the same field inside this view also so it's same model we don't need to add the field again in the python just we have to add the field to this one too many also so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons with our auto inheritance module and if you check the account move.py file this is what we have inherited that model and added an integer field in the xml side account move view.xml we have added the we have inherited the form view and added the field to the invoice line ids tree view so what i have said is we have to add the field to this one to many also and you can see this one to many name is line ids so if i click on the debugger button click on edit view form and if i scroll down let me check where is that line ids one to many field so here we have one to many line ids then tree and we have account id so just before account id i'll be adding the new field so let's go back to the pie charm so i'll take a copy of this and here i'll put and let me change field name instead of invoice line ids i have to add it inside line ids one to many tree field and i don't have a field called product id there but i have account id so account id then position before or after i'll add this field and i'll keep it as invisible invisible equal to one because i don't need to display it there simply i'll keep it invisible now let me remove the unnecessary space and let's upgrade the module and see the difference so currently before upgrading the value was not getting saved so let's upgrade and see whether there is any difference for that so i'll upgrade om odoo inheritance module so the module is getting upgraded and we have an error so let's see what's wrong so it says account cannot be located so it's not account it's account id so i have to correct that it's account id and let's upgrade so again the module is upgraded without any issues now i'll come to sales sorry you have to go to invoicing customers invoices try to create a new record select same customer that is uru meets and i'll select the product large disk the products is selected i will enter the line number as one and if i click on save you can see the value is not disappeared and it get saved in the database so this is the thing that you have to take care while adding a new field to invoice line model so i hope this video will be helpful for someone and if you like this video and if it was helpful please press the bell icon and click the like button so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you